Hi everyone, I hope you're doing great. Well, today I just want to summarize David Smith's book, Learning from a Stranger. And we're going to talk about chapter two. Chapter two is titled Culture and Bad Breath. There's a quote in there where he compares bad breath um, in, in sense of, I'll say the quote, it says, you tend to notice it in others sooner than you detect it in yourself. He further states that our, our idea of normal resides in the way we see things, the way we listen, communicate, and behave. A theory that kind of explains what he says in this quote is Leonard Laudinau's claim in the book Subliminal, How Your Unconscious Mind Rules Your Behavior. In it, the author claims that our brains tend to categorize other people whether we are aware of it or not. And not just categorize them, we don't even recognize how we react to them and even how we treat them. This categorization is unconscious and we're not aware of it. Two other quotes that struck me uh, was, how much room do we have to resist if our very perceptions are already culturally loaded? Um, the author ends with this quote, culture is a cage and what kind of responsibility it leaves us. These two quotes just seem discouraging to me because it, it kind of closes the chapter in a hopeless kind of way that we're all stuck in a cage or we tend to categorize people. Uh, but there are opportunities for us to grow. Um, Hammond in the inner cultural developmental continuum gives us some hope. Hammond um, theorizes that for us to grow in our cultural sensitivity, we have to move along the continuum. If you are from a monocultural mindset and you haven't had any experiences with other cultures, you might be in that denial stage where you miss differences. And when you are, as you move along the continuum, if you're in the polarization stage, that's when um, it's better than denial, but we tend to judge. And I think that's what David Smith alludes to when he talks about how when we are in our cultural mindset, we tend to judge other people or we tend to get offended if things don't fit the way that we want it to fit. That's what polarization stage is all about. Moving along the continuum, minimization is a little better than polarization. Um, it's where we tend to de-emphasize difference. Um, some people might say, I don't see color, uh, I'm colorblind. They are in this stage of minimization. Um, we're still, all three of them are still in that monocultural mindset. But for us to come out of that cage and get some hope, we have to move along. And the acceptance stage is where we start comprehending that there are differences and uh, we don't still have the skills to navigate those differences, but we do accept and understand there are differences. Uh, to be really effective, we have to grow and get into that adaptation stage where we can be a bridge across differences. That's when we have, we recognize, we deeply understand differences, but when we do uh, come up or encounter conflicts or differences of opinion, instead of judging or putting people in a box or categorize them, we're able to be a bridge to affect change. So that is my summary of the chapter. And I have some references and hope you have a great day. Thank you for listening.